Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned my 3040 CNC machine into a vinyl cutter. So as you can see here, this is the machine itself. I got a piece of vinyl ready to do uh, some cutting here. So what I did was I ordered a blade holder and knife set for vinyl cutting, which you can actually see up there. So, I mean, it's not that much. It's not expensive. So what I did was I bought it. And then in hopes that I would actually make some kind of adapter, but lo and behold, uh, on this Bosch router, which I have a half inch collet, this actually fit right up in there and I was able to tighten the collet. So this will pretty much work on a machine that has ER16 and ER20 collets. So this is an aftermarket router, of course, as you can see. So uh, it won't work with the like the basic 3040 but if you already have an updated motor and you can fit a 12 millimeter or a half inch um, call it er call it you'll be able to install this type of blade holder in there so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and um, bring my design into mach 3 and i'm going to go ahead and do a cut for you guys to show you guys that it does work okay so i'm gonna go ahead and run my file and let's get this shape cut out And it's just that easy. Now I'm able to cut vinyl graphics with my little CNC machine here. So uh, I'm just going to go in real quick on what I did here to uh, how I made all this possible besides installing the blade holder. So I got the vinyl piece here and the mat that you see underneath is actually part or it's one of my extras from uh, th it's the 3D printing bed. So I mean you could use like a mouse pad. I mean, there's so many different things that you could use, but I mean, it's just duct tape on there. And whenever I do need to use this as a regular CNC machine, all I have to do is just remove all this. Uh, I did create a New Mexico Zia symbol there. So all I got to do now is mask that and it's ready to, um, it's pretty much ready to install or use. So for those of you guys that want to do a vinyl cutting on your CNC machines without buying a whole vinyl cutter, um, this is one way to do it. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.